Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pool of Misfortune. <laughs> mis mis misinformation. misinformation, misfortune too. I did my hair real nice today. The sun's out. The boy's in his Daisy Dukes again. Hey, you know when the sun comes out, I come out. <laughs> that was real creepy. <laughs> <laughs> we've been getting a, like like a lot of inside shop requests. And we've been seeing a lot more people doing it. So I figure I'm gonna show you guys how to lace a wheel. But wait, we already did that. We already did that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to spice it up a little bit. We're gonna show you how to twist it. So the backstory with this one is, I've always known about twisted spokes and stuff like that. I'm actually not a fan of it. And because one of the thing is that it requires a lot of maintenance. Once you twist it like this and you tension it, it's going to get tighter in here. As you ride it, it'll get tighter and tighter. So you constantly have to, to tune it. But also if you guys look at the way the nipples are turned, see how it comes and it, it forces it at a, at a tight angle instead of a smooth angle, puts a lot of tension on those spokes. Look at this one. This one's bent. People have always asked that they, you know, can you twist and we, we like, no, we can't because it's really not strong. Okay, if it really is strong, Ethan would have it on his 20 inch. Alf would do it for years. Well, some of the top EMX guy would do it. But you know what, we have to admit, it does look pretty cool. So this is where the cool factor outweighs the function. What do you call it? This what? Just twist it. No! <laughs> Ow! Dude, what are you? I thought it was a nipple twister. So Ethan, one day we're sitting here, and Ethan goes, "Hey, I want to. What do you think?" For I go, "I don't know. You do it." He goes, "I want to see what's the most I can twist. What is this? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Five twists, guys. This is. I think this is a little bit overboard. <laughs> How much twist does each remove from the spoke height? That off the top of my head, I don't know. I don't know. So, but guys." Alf does, does make a good point that you can't just take off a regular wheel and then just twist it in. Because when you twist it, it will shorten the spoke out. So this right here would have to be longer. So it comes to what I have here. So this hub right here, the height of this, this, this flange and this BMX hub, right, this BMX rim right here, judging by this, watch how good Ethan is. This hub, this rim. What size spoke? 184. So look at that, dude. You hear all his little beep, 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 180. So if we, use, if we use 184 on it, that is the regular lace where we would lace it up three cross. But because we have to twist it, it's gonna have to be longer. So I'm guessing, guys, it's gonna be 194. So I'm adding 10 mil extra. That is about that much longer. I'm just gonna twist it once. I'm not gonna twist it twice. The more you twist, the longer it's gonna go. So I'm assuming twisting it once is gonna to make it 10 mil shorter. Maybe 20. Maybe? Oh, he's saying 20. Okay, he's the wheel master, you know? I'm just the grasshopper. So we're gonna go and try it. It's real simple, guys. So this, this might be a real short video, okay? So sit tight, here we go. So you guys remember my equation, okay? If we're gonna do three cross, you wanna do the first spoke and then six over. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth one is going to go down. So this one goes this way, this one goes this way. So normally, you're gonna go like this, correct? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to twist this, that's it. And when you twist it, you wanna keep this thing straight we're going to find the, the bung hole. Put this in. Ah, ah, there we go. It's, it's going to be tighter, okay? It's going to be tighter. Sorry, guys. No dirty jokes there. Because we're serious now. Okay. So after you do this, you're going to repeat down here. Follow that, and then go down here. Notice how this one right here, I keep following this because it goes down. This one, when I say it goes up, basically what I mean is that the spoke is drawn from here. It goes up and over. 
The next, the next up spoke's gonna be skip one and then up. Skip one and then up. So we have this. We're gonna go over here. And then we're going to twist. Oh, come on, come on. Make sure you twist the right direction. Counterclockwise? Uh, well, whichever, whichever. I don't think it matters. I'm gonna get a couple of the Wheel Geek guys gonna be like, it does matter. Nope. Spoke life does not matter, okay? What? Spoke life, instead of. <laughs> oh. Could you guys already see it? Could you see it? Could you see it? So again, this spoke right here is going up. I'm gonna skip one and then up. And I keep repeating. Same here, this one is going down. Down, down, skip, down. Then I'm gonna cross, I'm going to Twist, it's getting harder. There you go. Okay, and uh, there we have it. You guys kind of see. Now I want you guys to look right here. See how tight this twist is? See how loose this is? Because I haven't tensioned it. And judging by how, how high this thing is, and Ethan looked at Ethan and goes, you know what, I think you could have twisted it twice. So, I'm not gonna go take this apart because I basically want you guys to get an idea. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try to twist this. <laughs> you gonna do it again? No, just this one. Oh. Just this one, so. So because we don't do a lot of these twisting, we're not familiar with the length, but look. I'm going to twist it. Ah. And. Put that in. <sighs> Woo! Nipples flying. Lost the nipple underneath that. Okay. So, look how messed up this looks. You guys are like, whoa. But guess what? When you tension it, it's going to straighten it out. It's going to pull it tighter and it's going to be more even. That's the other thing, guys. You see how it's real even? Once you tension it, it's going to be like, almost like, imagine a, a big python snake where it's, it's constricting whatever catch. It's gonna be like that. It's gonna start twisting and turning. Now, I will have to admit that because we don't do this on the daily, the guys out there that constantly twist spokes for low rider bikes and all that, they're out there. They're, they're tugging, they're pulling, they're twisting. They actually do it a lot smoother than this, but guys, once you tension it, it will straighten out. So, double, single, I don't know. You might even, nah, I think you can only do double. So, that just gives you an idea how, how like the spoke length is, you have to do it longer. But there it is, guys. Now, I'm not gonna go and tension it because this video is just to give you an idea about how I'm doing it. Some of you guys out there, you guys might be lucky and your spokes are a little bit long, so you could actually loosen them up. Take two out at a time, twist it, and put it back in, and do it all the way around. Some of you guys, the spokes are, are short, you guys can't. So you guys wanna go out there, you guys wanna give it a try, look at your spoke, and just mess around. Find a wheel, take take two apart, where it's crossed, and then twist it and put it back. Twist it and put it back. If it doesn't work, guess what? You, you at least give it a try, you give yourself an A for that. So guys, I hope this gives you an idea, I hope I've helped out because that's all I want to do. Uh, if you guys comment in what you guys think, what you guys, the pros and cons, I already gave you guys my thought of it. I don't think it's that strong. Uh, Alf said, you know what, it looks cool and all that, but knowing his background, he, he wouldn't have done it to his bike because it might break. So what do you guys think? Did some of you guys race on this? Some of you guys, they like freestyle on it? Let's, get, let's hear your side of the story on it, okay? Uh, is there any other is there any other twisting method that you guys seen? Send me a DM and I'll I'll shout you guys out. Okay, guys, guys, thank you for watching. Please share this and some of you freeloaders on there, stop freeloading and subscribe. Okay, let's get these number up. The more number it is, the more hype I am. The more we're gonna do this. Uh, Alpha is like, oh God, more. Yes, we gotta work. We gotta work for these people. Okay, I'm out.